first 17 years of my career, I worked in a staff job in broadcast television. It's a fantastic place to work because I learned how to tell stories really well. It taught me so much. And one of the real things that I didn't realize at the time, but I really value now, is that at the end of the day, I went home and that was it. I didn't have to think about the next day. Since being freelance, which I've been doing now for 10 years, I've always got multiple projects on the go. I've got things that I've already shot, which need editing. I've got jobs which uh, I'm shooting, say, tomorrow. And my biggest issue I have is the amount of data that I accumulate through shooting video, especially when 4K has come along. I mean, it means the data size is much bigger. What I really am looking for is a way to actually put it all together and have a, a system that is really easy to manage at home, but also one that I can access when I'm away from home. It is one of these things I keep meaning to sort out, the chaos that is my data management with all of my, my footage, but uh, I never get around to doing it. I have all of the projects and shoots and other things, and it just gets pushed to the side, which of course just means things get worse. More hard drives, more chaos, more stress. Now, thankfully, and coincidentally, because I don't think they had any idea just how bad my system is when it comes to data management, Western Digital asked me if I wanted to try out this, the MyCloud Pro Series server. This is four bays, and it's got 32 terabytes of storage and lots of very fancy features. <laughs> So we got two USBs, two Ethernets, and the front, well, it's, we have a display here that's not plugged in, so you can't see, but we, we can open up the bays, and you can see Western Digital eight terabyte drives in here, and there's four of them. firmware updates are done, looks like it's ready to go, so let's start loading up with some uh, hard drives. This is probably the only hard drive I'm going to copy in its entirety. All those other drives I'm going to have to just go through and clip up the shots that I want to keep on the server, mostly for stock purposes, but there'll be other times when I need to grab some shots for myself for different edits that I'm doing. Anyway, this is going to take a while because it's a fairly substantial amount of data to bring across and I need to leave because I need to go and check a location for a shoot. And of course with the winter days, time is of the essence. I need some nice lights so I can take my drone up and get a nice overview of the location and see how will it work for our film. I'm back in the edit suite and this is the micro SD card with the footage that I shot of the drone, of the location check. I've uploaded it to my project hard drive. I'm gonna create a new area on the server which is for this film. And when it's on the server, I can give access to my director so she can download or just view the footage that I shot of this location. When using the WD app on your computer or on your mobile device, and looking at the files like this 4K footage, it will be the full resolution. And that's where Plex comes into play. Plex is an app that I've installed on the server, which means I can remotely access this footage, look at it on mobile devices, but not necessarily in the full quality. So when you've got limited data connection, you can still see it. With my footage now put on my server, what I want to see is if I can access it when I'm not from home. Now it's connecting to the uh, server. That's really nice, get a look at my stuff on the server from here.
So I have my first batch of old footage on there. I've got new footage on there. I've checked to see how well it works remotely. I can totally see how this will benefit me. It's only gonna work though if I have discipline. It's simply a case of getting into the habit of doing it. Once you do that, the discipline will become easy and then my workflow will become so much better. It really is nice to have this central media hub at the heart of my edit system that I can access when I'm away from home too. I just need to get cracking because I've got a lot of hard drives to clip up. A lot.